Today, the New York State Public Service Commission settled on a plan to address the impending exhaustion of phone numbers in the 716 area code. Channel 2's Dave McKinley reports that the plan they adopted will mean no one with a current 716 number will have to change it. Isn't that right, Dave? That is right, Kate, and perhaps uh, one of the most important things to remember. Now, one thing commissioners were not considering was to split the current 716 area code into two regions, like what I know you remember happened back in 2001 when the Rochester area was split off and given the new 585 area code. Over time, such splits have been found to be too disruptive for residents and businesses. So one option before them were to take the 716 and 585 regions and put a new area code over the top of them so that starting no later than the spring of 2024, any new phones put online in those regions would have that new area code. Commissioners were told this would address the problem of running out of numbers for about 17 years. The other option and the one they eventually adopted was to lay that new area code for new phones just over 716. That way they figured to not run out of numbers for 29 years. Again, it means all of us who currently have a 716 number will be able to keep it. As you might have guessed, the issue stems primarily from the proliferation of cell phones, whereas you might still recall when a couple of decades ago there was generally one phone per household. These days it is not uncommon for each member of a household to have a phone with its own number, creating the issue of numbers within an area code being exhausted. As for what the new area code for phones will be come 2024, that's yet to be announced. Although, Kate, we should know no later than sometime next summer, possibly within the next 90 days. Of course, that was my very next question. I was wondering about that, but we'll have to wait. Okay. All right. Thank All you, right. David.